All right, guys. So I found this on Newegg, forty nine ninety nine. New, it was on sale. Uh, it's still, it's no longer on sale for that price. It's currently seventy nine ninety nine. Uh, MSRP on this is one forty nine ninety nine, which I don't know. I would pay one forty nine ninety nine for a Rosewell product. Uh, Rosewell claims to manufacture, you know, do manufacturing and marketing of, uh, you know, computer parts and and several other electronic items. But I don't believe that Rosewell actually manufactures their parts. I think they're like the Kenmore of, of computer parts. I mean, other companies make, make them for them and just brand them with the Rosewell name. Now, I do have a Rosewell 750-watt, uh, I believe it's a capstone uh, modular power supply, which is, is great. I love that power supply. I haven't had a single issue with it yet. And I thought, you know, for $49.99, you know, I'll pick this up and check it out. I mean, you know, what's how bad can it really be? And I was actually going to do a comparison to the one that's in my main computer, which is the Enermax, the Liquimax, or Liquimax, or however you say that, uh, 240, which is, I think this is an excellent AIO. I've had no issues with this one. It keeps everything nice and cool, uh, even when I'm overclocking the Ryzen 2700. So, yeah, I was going to do a comparison with it, but let's take a look here, and I'll show you why I'm not going to be able to do that. All right. I mean, it's got decent enough instructions. I mean, these things aren't rocket science to figure out how to how to install. It's got a couple unbranded fans, four-pin PWM fans, so that's nice. Uh, not really sure, you know, how well they perform. I, I haven't even hooked them up. I know from the rating on the on the box, I mean, it's got the specs on the box, and compared to the Intermax, they're much slower, much less static pressure, but I'm still willing to give this a try anyways. All right, that bag of, nice little bag of hardware, comes with a fan splitter and everything, so everything seems to be included with it. And an interesting feature of this is the pump isn't built into the CPU water block, the pump is actually built into the radiator, which is, you know, kind of unique. I've seen this on on another brand, I can't recall which one, but I remember seeing this before, and I mean, it does take up a portion of the radiator. I'm not exactly sure how how well this thing would function and how the the water flow is, you know, in and out of the pump through here. But yeah, you know, it would been interesting to test out. It's got a nice enough looking CPU block. I mean, the, the hoses seem thick and decent, a little stiff, but they're on flexible fittings here, so that's kind of cool. Um, it feels pretty solid. The problem, though, is if I flip it over, I saw these marks here. I thought I was hoping it was just on this plastic protective film, but nope. You peel that back, and you see corrosion. There is definitely some corrosion going on here, which means this thing was leaking. And I don't know if you can hear this. Let me grab that cable so it stops smacking around. There's a lot of sloshing in there and it doesn't, it sounds like there's not really a whole lot of water in there. So I think what happened here is I think this thing sprung a big old leak. Okay, maybe not a big leak, but this thing sprung a bit of a leak, lost half the liquid and it started corroding the cold plate there. And you know, you can see, I mean, this, I don't know if that's machining or I don't know what these marks are on there, but the whole thing just looks like shit. So, this is getting packed up, and uh, I'm going to send this back under RMA, and if I get another one that looks that looks usable, you know, then maybe we'll do the comparison. But, anyways, if, if you guys have, if any of you guys have used this, uh, you know, Rosewell AIO or any of the Rosewell AIOs, uh, you know, let me know how it worked out for you. I, I figured, you know, $49.99 was probably too good of a deal to pass up, and apparently it was too good, of, too good to be true. Because, yeah, this thing seems to be junk. So, but uh, I'll keep you guys posted. So, um, let me get everything packed back up here. And then what I'll do is, uh, you know, if I get a new one in and it performs, we'll do a test on it. We'll test it out and we'll compare it to the NMX and see how that, how it does. Uh, needless to say, I'm rather disappointed. I was kind of looking forward to, to checking this out. You know, I thought maybe for the price it was, you know... It was an option, but not when it come like this. So, anyways, uh, stay tuned. You know, look for look for a uh, 
or for a video about this Rosewell CPU if I if I get a decent RMA replacement on it. Anyways guys, have fun. We'll see you in the next one.